Shane here, Kambacho Project Farm. This is a story of a, one of the gullies on Kambacho. So you can see here, this is the bottom end of it. And the Pragmites is marching up the gully. And then we've got a, a kind of an incised channel here. We've got some Kambungi creating a, a pond here. Early stages of building. We've got a bit of, yeah, a bit of a, a head cut here in the gully, but we've got reeds here that are creating a, a blockage to push the water out. Yeah, and as we go up this gully, the top end of this gully I've been working on since 20. 14 um, and and have it largely managed all the way down to this last section which has incredible bloody volume of water and energy in the water that comes ripping down here you could actually white water raft on it if you wanted to but I've just started working in here in this incised channel so this is a a leaky weir that's gone in here um, with a group of year nine students that built this literally in a few hours one day with a couple of wheelbarrows carting rocks and then in the last two days we've put in another leaky weir here so that one there will pond back to here. This one will push the water out either side to create that, that landscape pattern of the, of the water spreading, going out and coming back into that pond to de-energize. And then we've got, this one will push water back. We've got another one here. So these rocks we've carted some six trailer loads of rocks from up in the paddock um, and just dumped them into the gully to block this up this will pond back into this rather big head cut rather big pond created by a head cut but top side of this we've got again the landscape rebuilding itself we've got quite a good patch of of reeds here and I think it's club rush this stuff but also kumbungi and over yonder we've got a patch of pragmites coming through so this is being created here um, this is the bottom end of where we've done the management and this is the pickup point where we pick up into a a 2.4 long, 2.4 kilometer long contour. So this is a level contour here, basically just a channel with no bank. And this allows this gully, which has largely healed itself through here with Kambungi and reeds. It's, it's, it's created its own chain of ponds. This here, this here picks it all up and allows it to go straight ahead down this the rest of this gully so it's going to be really fascinating to see but what's interesting around here now is this is the bottom end of this gully and so everything above here has been managed pretty much and here we are in a in a dry spring so we've had ten and a half mils for september ten and a half mils for october and you can see the volume of green grass we've got growing in here. Like this stuff is just going for it. And we've been planting trees on the farm and we've got excellent soil moisture. Wherever we've been putting trees in, we've got excellent soil moisture. So the natural sequence work we've been doing over the last 11 years is now starting to pay incredible dividends and you can see the green down there there's a solar pump down there but all of that all of this gully is now colonized well and truly with 
Pragmites, which is just creating this incredible filtration system and tying the gully together. And interestingly, my neighbour downstream of here the other day desilted a dam. And I don't know whether you'll see it in this video. Uh, there's a D6 or a D8 down there. That's where the dam site is. They were in there with a, a backhoe, an excavator, no, a loader and a bulldozer. Cleaned the dam out. Within a week of them turning off the machinery, the dam was full of water, full of crystal clear water that is coming out of this gully system up here, which now is basically a, a flowing 12 months of the year. So there you have it. That's today's story on natural sequence farming. Cheers. Bye.